We're kicking off today with SummerSlam, as this year's event is days away, but the card is not exactly what fans had predicted. One match that many were expecting to see would have pitted women's world champion Rhea Ripley against Raquel Rodriguez, but on Raw, Raquel was medically disqualified from competition. This decision came after several teases of the match, including Ripley taking out Raquel's tag partner Liv Morgan, so why exactly isn't this match happening? During Wrestling Observer Radio, Dave Meltzer explained how this match was nixed from SummerSlam due to time constraints, and it's not the only match to be cut from the show. It was said that several matches initially planned for SummerSlam will no longer be happening, and there's no word on whether these matches will take place down the line. While Ripley vs. Rodriguez could be a last-minute addition to the card, that looks incredibly unlikely now, as with an estimated three and a half hours, there just wasn't enough time for everyone at SummerSlam. SummerSlam is billed as the biggest party of the summer and WWE's second biggest event behind WrestleMania, but there's been a lot said about the treatment of women for the show. Not only will Rhea Ripley, possibly the most over woman today, not be booked for SummerSlam, but as we saw on Raw, the Trish Stratus vs. Becky Lynch match has been postponed for later this month. Many fans have called out WWE for these booking decisions, calling on the company to do better by its female talent, and these superstars themselves are also far from happy. WRKD Wrestling reports that there is currently some unrest within WWE over how they are treating the women's division, and this isn't a new feeling. The belief among some is that Ripley's title reign has been handled poorly, and while she is popular and her Judgment Day work has been stellar, WWE has put little effort into her women's world title. As for the Stratus Lynch match, the view backstage is that talent can understand the match taking place on Raw in Canada, but it's still insulting to pull it from the SummerSlam card after announcing it. One source said that for as celebrated as Trish is, this situation shows how different WWE perceive men and women, stating that a match with a male legend like Goldberg would never be removed. Interestingly, these issues come at a time when AEW is facing similar criticism for its treatment of women, and do you think the women in WWE are right to be annoyed? Let us know in the comments. Two men fans will be seeing at SummerSlam is Cody Rhodes and Brock Lesnar in the third collision between the two at a WWE Premium Live event. After a traditional singles match at Backlash and another at Night of Champions, it was reported that WWE were planning a stipulation bout for the third match between the two. More specifically, it was believed that the pair would engage in a bull rope match, but that hasn't been announced and isn't expected to be confirmed either. In an update, Fightful Select report that Rhodes vs. Lesnar 3 will now be another traditional singles match. And are you disappointed at this news? Sound off down in the comments. After this week's AEW Dynamite, AEW taped their latest episode of Rampage, which will air tonight, and the show saw the continuation of the build to All In. All In will be AEW's biggest ever event, with over 70,000 people expected in a jam-packed Wembley Stadium, but the exact opposite situation played out during the Rampage taping. Richard Trionfo of PW Insider attended the event at the Yingling Center, and said that while the fans were excited at the start of the taping, they clearly got bored. By the end of the taping, the talent in the ring were competing in front of a nearly empty arena, but we're sure that the broadcast will make Rampage seem full all show long. To be fair to the fans, the preceding Dynamite had been an explosive show, with a title change and RVD's debut, so some may have been too exhausted to stick around. Nevertheless, seeing fans leaving in droves is hardly a good look for AEW, as images like these are something that Tony Khan definitely doesn't want you to see. On last week's Collision, CM Punk revealed the AEW World Championship he captured at All Out 2022 and spray-painted the title with a large black X. Punk has declared himself the real AEW World Champion and will even defend his gold, but this new title is far from official. On AEW's roster website, Punk is featured alongside the rest of the men and women competing each week, but there is no indication of him holding any kind of championship. Some fans have suggested that Punk deliberately spray-painted his X over the E in AEW in a possible dig at the Elite, but whether that was intentional or just a coincidence is still unclear. It'll be this Saturday that Punk defends his real AEW World Championship against Ricky Starks, who bested Punk in the finals of the Owen Hart men's tournaments, but no matter who wins, don't expect an official title reign to be recognized by the company. Back to WWE and right now, Cody Rhodes is the promotion's top babyface and has repeatedly gone the extra mile to be a positive representative of the company. 
Cody, by his own admission, has not always been as mature as he is now, and this week, Rhodes disclosed a time when he was ready to attack a WWE staffer for real. In an interview with Sam Roberts, Rhodes spoke about his new documentary from Peacock and said that there is part of the doc that was filmed, but WWE had removed. Rhodes explained that during a meeting during his first run with WWE, he was trying to talk when he noticed the staffer was fake writing notes, clearly only pretending to be interested in what he had to say. Cody said that he was so mad that he wanted to punch this guy, and that Triple H even said that he should, but that all references to this incident were cut from the documentary. Cody did not punch the staffer, which he admits would have been a PR nightmare, and has matured greatly since then, and we imagine that when the American Nightmare talks, people will listen, now he's back with WWE. Yesterday we reported on Kevin Owens, who was at one time considering leaving WWE after going completely unused around the time of WrestleMania 35. Given the success Owens has had since then, including headlining WrestleMania's 38 and 39, he was right to stay with WWE, but what led to the Canadian inking a new deal? Speaking to Ariel Helwani, Owens explained that just as he was sure he was going to leave, Vince McMahon himself organized a meeting and made it clear he wanted KO to stay. This hadn't been Owens' first meeting, but those hadn't involved the chairman, and after speaking with the boss, Owens realized that his time with WWE wasn't going to end in 2019. Kevin Owens has remained with WWE to this day, though is currently out of action with a rib injury, but had McMahon not gotten involved, things could have been much different for the reigning tag team champion. More from SummerSlam now, as we've already mentioned that not every match planned will be on the card, but there could still be some surprises in store for tomorrow night. According to a report from PW Insider, WWE is bringing in a lot of people to Detroit who currently aren't booked, including Bobby Roode, who has been out of action since last year with neck injuries. Interestingly, Becky Lynch will also be in town for SummerSlam, despite her match being postponed. And Fightful ads that Liv Morgan, Zoe Stark, Baron Corbin, Titus O'Neil, and Maxine Dupree are all slated to be around as well. It'll be interesting to see if any of these superstars make it onto the show, as WWE will certainly have them at their disposal if needed, and what surprises are you hoping to see at the biggest party of the summer? And we're ending today with Kayla Braxton, who for years has served as a host of The Bump, but her tenure with the show ended this week. During the show, it was unclear why exactly Braxton is leaving the show, but it's been reported by some that she is being kicked off of the bump, which is simply not the case. Responding to one of these reports, Braxton said that she wasn't kicked out, but made the decision to step away as she can't be in the studio each week and wanted to give somebody else an opportunity. Kayla Braxton joined WWE in 2016 and is said to be well-liked by her colleagues, and while her days with the bump are over, it was her choice to leave, despite what some have claimed.